Hi, welcome to RK University Online Classes. In this lecture, I am going to explain you how to calculate modified internal rate of return, also called as MIRR. Now, there are two methods to calculate a modified IRR depending on the cash flows. In one scenario, where you will have a even cash flows or annuity of a cash flows, and in another scenario, you will have a uneven cash flows. So this lecture is aimed at calculating a modified IRR with an even cash flows. I'll explain that with an example now. So in a modified IRR, your present value of cash outflows, this equals to future value of cash inflows upon 1 plus MIRR to the power of N. If we rewrite this, your MIRR, this equals to future value of cash inflows upon present value of cash outflows raised to the power of 1 upon n minus 1. So here with regard to the cash inflows you need to calculate a future value and with regard to cash outflows you need to calculate the present value. So in our project that is bookbinders is planning to purchase a new machinery that costs $225,000. So your cash outflow is $225,000 and bookbinders expect that this new machine will fetch $66,000 additional after tax revenue for 4 years. So your cash inflow is $66,000 per year and for N is 4 years and the required rate is 12%. So required rate is 12% percent. Right. Using this required rate, we will calculate the future value of a cash inflows and present value of a cash outflows. As you have only one a cash outflow that is a $225,000 in the zero year. So even if you calculate the present value also, this will be $225,000 only. Now you need to calculate future value of cash inflows. Now as you are receiving the even cash flows uh, for the four years, how is that you need to calculate? future value of cash inflows. As you have an annuity here, then we will uh, use the annuity function. That is cash inflow times future value interest factor annuity. And then your future value interest factor annuity, this equals to 1 plus i raised to the power of n upon i minus 1 upon i. So first we calculate uh, 1 plus i to the power of n this equals to i is 12 percent that is so 1.12 raised to the power of n is 4 then i will divide this by i that is 1.5735 upon 0.12 next is uh, 1 upon i 1 upon i is 0.12 and finally your future value interest factor is 13.1125 minus 8.333 so your uh, future value interest factor annuity this equals to 4.7792 then your uh, future value of a cash flows is $66,000 times 4.7792 now your MIRR this equals to future value of a cash inflows that is 315,427 upon present value of a cash outflows that is 225,000 raised to the power of 1 upon 4 minus 1. First we do 1 upon 4, 1 upon 4, 0 0.25 then 315,427 upon 225. Now 1.4019 raised to the power of 0.25. So this is 1.0881 then minus 1. So your uh, MIRR is 0 0.0881 or 8.81 percent. This is how you need to calculate the modified IRR of a project. Thank you.